Hi folks, I play a lot of bad tanks, and I get criticized for playing a lot of bad tanks. Um, you know, my platoon mates will criticize me for platooning in a bad tank, or I will talk about a tank on the channel in a video and tell you it's a bad tank and that I don't enjoy playing it. And I get the usual questions of, well, if I don't enjoy playing a tank, why am I playing it? Or if I hate the grind on this tank so much, why don't I just free XP it? And um, when I started this channel a long, long time ago, I had three goals in mind. Uh, the original reason I started this channel was to help my community. Uh, BSM, there were some new World of Tanks players in there. I wanted to help new players in my own community to perhaps understand and get better at the game. I mean, I'm not the best player, but, you know, I'm not bad. I understand the basics. And um, so that was the reason, the, the main reason I started uploading videos. And then the second reason is that uh, I decided early on that I was going to maybe do reviews and maybe try and review everything every premium tank in the game. But the third and what probably what has become the biggest reason I maintain this channel is I'm a little bit OCD and when I get something into my head it has to be done and for some reason I got into my head that I needed to ace tanker every single tank in the game or every tank that I can get my hands on because obviously there's some tanks I'm never going to get my hands on but um, th that is what I was doing and that's why you get so many ace tankers on bad tanks and me complaining about bad tanks and uh, yeah uh, that's basically what I'm doing but about a year ago someone on the EU forums did a data mine and they basically pulled up this spreadsheet, which is the number of ace tankers from the top 500,000, that's half a million players on the EU. So half a million players and the number of players who've gotten the most ace tankers. Now, as you can see here, we've got some guy called Mania XXL who has got 398 tanks aced. And down here, as we scroll down, you can see not too far off the top, at in 76th, well, joint 76th position with 284 tanks aced uh, is uh, some guy called uh, Us Irish. Um, so I am, s well, when this survey was done, I was ranked 76 out of half a million EU players uh, for the number of aces. Now, if you look up this list, um, I'll probably post a link to this list below. Maybe if you, you, you might want to see where you are on it, or if you're possibly on the top 500,000 players in the EU for ace tankers. But uh, Sir Fosh is the only popular YouTuber I see up here um, who has actually gotten more ace tankers than I have. So well played to him. Uh, but this survey was done around about uh, patch 9.12 and it hasn't been updated since. I'm really, really hoping that the original author updates it. Uh, I know it takes a lot of time, but I really hope he updates it because at the time, as I said, I had 284. Currently, a year later, I have 300 and around about 330 ace tankers, I think, off the top of my head. Um, and that would have put me somewhere around the top 20, top yeah, maybe top 20 players. Uh, of course, all of these guys would have gotten more ace tankers in the meantime as well. But uh, yeah, I'm basically quite near the top as regards the number of ace tankers earned. And um, I'm quite pleased with that. And I'm going to continue posting up ace tankers and continue playing terrible tanks and continue having uh, getting into a bad mood because a tank is terrible. Um, and continue to face criticism from platoon mates for platooning in terrible tanks. Because as I say, I'm OCD and I need to ace every single tank tank in the, ch in, the, in the game, or at least, as I say, every tank I get my hands on. But uh, there you go. That, that's the whole, the whole thing behind the ace tankers. Uh, let's get on to today's video in another horrible tank I'm not enjoying very much. Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the T-34-100, the Tier 7 Czechoslovakian medium tank, a tank I mentioned on a video recently that I don't like very much. Really, I don't like this tank very much. Um, in fact, I despise it. I think it's awful, and I can't wait, can't wait to get out of this and into something else, although people have told me that the Tier 8 is not that much better, so... Oh, not looking forward to the tier 8 already. Um, yeah, th there's lots of reasons why I don't like this tank, um, but basically to sum it up, it's a tier 6 T-34-100, except it's a tier 7. 
Uh, it gets a 100 millimeter gun as opposed to an 85 millimeter gun, but you know, while the gun is bigger, has better penetration, has more alpha, the rest of the tank is worse in pretty much every single way than the tier 6. Um, it's just not competitive, even even compared to similar tier 7s like the T43. Uh, it's just it's just not really that competitive and I actually will probably head into tanks G I or tanks GG just to do a quick comparison rather than talking about it here because we'll be here forever. I might as well just show you. And one quick edit later, we have the Constructor T34 100 and it's up against the T44 85, a similar tier Russian medium, and the T43, a similar tier Russian medium. And then just, just for comparison's sake, I put the T34 85 up here, the Russian tier 6. So uh, what you can see is it's got the worst DPM. Um, you know, even though the penetration is the best penetration, 175, 250 damage is the best alpha damage, it's actually got the worst DPM. Even the tier 6 has better DPM slightly than the tier 7 version of the tank, even though it's for a different nation. And the penetration, while it's great, uh, you can see that the tier 6 has similar penetration to the tier 7s here. So, I mean, when you're getting to the side and rear of enemy tanks, like you should be in a medium tank anyway, I mean, the penetration doesn't make that much of a difference. The alpha is nice, but, I mean, the rate of fire is slower, the reload is slower, and the, uh, anything else here, the ammo, look at that, it carries far, far less ammo than the other tanks do. do. Um, you know, uh, when it comes to weapons handling, the aim time is the worst. The aim time is the worst of all the tanks up here. The accuracy is worse. In fact, only the T30 or T4485 is worse accuracy wise, but the T43 is better accuracy. The T3485 at tier 6 has better accuracy than the tier 7 version of the tank. And this is the big one. This is one of the reasons I dislike the tank immensely is the gun depression. You can see we've got 5 degrees of gun depression on the T34100, 6 degrees on the T4485. 8 degrees on the T43, and the tier uh, tier 6 tank that this, this tank is based on has got 7 degrees of gun depression, so 5 degrees of gun depression makes this tank horrible. Uh, it's also got, the well, it's got joint worst gun elevation as well. The T43 and the T3485 both have better gun elevation, so it's not looking good. It's a tier 6 tank that's worse than a tier 6 tank in most ways, other than penetration and alpha. Um, when it comes to movement, again, it's negatives because it gets the same top speed as the tier 6 tank, slightly faster than the, the two tier 7s, but it gets a really, really bad engine, 520 horsepower. The tier 6 gets a better engine. Look at the horsepower to weight ratio. It's got the worst horsepower to weight ratio, making it sluggish. So while the ground resistance values are quite good, I mean, they're quite good compared to the other tanks up here, the horsepower to weight ratio is the worst. And that means it struggles when it's traversing. It struggles when going uphill. It struggles when going across unfavorable ground. Um, it's also got worse turret traverse than two of the other tanks. The tier 6 is better turret traverse. The uh, tier 6 has uh, anything else here? Similar armor. Yeah, as I say, it's a tier 6 tank, but it's at tier 7. So it gets the same hull armor as the tier 6. It gets the same turret armor as the tier 6. Compared to the other tier 7s, the T4485 and the T43, it's got worse hull armor. It's got worse turret armor than either of the two tanks up here. So it's basically a tier 6 tank armor-wise with less TPM, less gun depression, less horsepower to weight ratio, um, and less ammo. Um, it's, it's just not a very good tank. I mean, about the only place it beats the tier 6 other than penetration and alpha, is it's got ten, it gets 10 meters more extra view range. That's pretty much it. So that's why I dislike the T-34-100. It's a tier 6 tank that sees tier 9s. Um, you know, and 175 millimeters of penetration while good is just, it's still going to struggle against tier 9. So you've got tier 6 armor, turret and hull. You've got worse maneuverability. You've got absolutely no gun depression and terrible matchmaking for a tier 6 tank. I mean, about the only thing that's been proved to make this a tier 7 is the gun and its hit points got boosted, but it's it's pretty much worse than the tier 6 version of this tank in almost every single way. Um, I just don't like this tank very much at all, but uh, this is a very quick and dirty ace tanker here on Ensk. Uh, we're just going to go. Uh, I'm top tier, thankfully. Um, you know, first ace, I don't have any control over what tier I'm going to be. Obviously, it's sometimes easier when you're top tier, but 
I just don't get along with this tank. It's the gun depression, and you can see it's just sluggish. I mean, it's struggling to reach 50 kilometers an hour, um, and that was favorable ground, and the aim time is just so bad. Look at the aim time. It's got the worst aim time of any of the tanks, any of the tanks I compared it against. There's a, there's a T-43 up there, and I would much rather be in a T-43. At a hint of a shot, once again, no outlines replay bug, but um, yep, there's that terrible side armor. T-37 takes it. Look at the aim time. t 37 is able to pen me. And yeah, it's a very, very poor start to the game, but things do heat up when I finally, finally stop sniping and start realizing I'm top tier and need to do a job as a top tier, need to be aggressive. I'm playing quite passively at the moment, and that is a mistake I'm going to rectify in a moment. So um, yeah, we're aiming, 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 no, and just bad aim time, bad accuracy, bad, uh, bad DPM, bad gun depression, I, I just don't like this tank very much. So yeah, it's about now I suddenly realize, oh, hang on, I'm top tier. I'm, I'm basically playing this game on autopilot, um, so I'm really not paying that much attention to the minimap. For some reason, minimap features are not working, I don't know why, but uh, we're moving up. And we're going to do some flanking because I'm top tier. So there's an Oni up here. He is also top tier. T30 or T1 or T150, not top tier, but he's still a tank that can do a lot of damage to me. So we go for the track shot, track him in place, reverse, and thankfully manage to bounce his shot. So we're aiming, 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 and reverse. And we bounce his shot. He's only, we're only giving him his, uh, the tracks to shoot at, but unfortunately I wasn't able. I was waiting for him to fire. That gave him a chance to uh, repair his... Um, gave him a chance to repair his tracks, get into cover, but I go for the T, uh, T-150, end up shooting the Oni. Now it's time to move up because the T-150 is fired again. The Oni is ignoring me, so we've got to take out the T-150. We take him out. I mean, the penetration's nice. The alpha damage's nice. There's the first kill of the game, so we're on 1100. And this Oni is just completely, completely tunnel vision, completely ignoring the fact that there are tanks to his side, tanks to his rear. So we're just going to fire, reverse, and keep an eye in third person to make sure his turret isn't turning our way. And, you know, that was, that was a nice... 770 damage on the Oni. Oh, Artie, aim, 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 aim. As long as I risk, because I don't want someone to nick the kill, get the Artie kill for kill number two. Um, and just moving up, and there's that T-43 again. And as I say, that tank has armor compared to this tank. It has gun depression compared to this tank. It has better DPM than this tank. T-37's advancing. Shoot him on the move. Okay, two very dangerous tanks up here. Two tier sevens. T-43 and an SU-12244, and it's just, you can't take snapshots with this gun either. It's just so inaccurate taking snapshots. I'm going to be so, so glad when I get the grind done. It's definitely not a tank I'm going to be keeping. I'm going to be selling this the moment I'm done with it, but make sure he's not looking my way. i to put a shot in because, you know, even though uh, I dislike the gun immensely, you know, when you're top tier, the alpha damage and the penetration is good, but I still think it sucks in a higher tier game. Uh, especially up against tier 9s, but um, anyway, we're going to try and side scrape. And unfortunately, he's able to pen me. So, yeah, the whole armor on this tank is awful. But we do get another shot in, takes us up to 2.5k damage, and we're just trying to side, scra side scrape here, try and stay as safe as possible, go for the track shot, he's not going anywhere. I'm hope waiting for the tanks behind to take him out, or I'm waiting for him to fire one or the other. I decide to risk it. Thankfully, our tracks do eat the shot that time. And finally, the tanks behind me take him out. So that's just the SU-12244 now. He's looking at me. Looking at me. Using third person. Checking behind me to make sure tanks are moving up. Okay, he's turning. He's turning. Yeah, he doesn't know which way to turn. All right, we've got him. So we go for the track shot. Not quite sure whether or not to track him. He doesn't seem to be moving. So aim, 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 and I hit the wreck of the flaming tank and miss the kill, and it's like, ah, ah, I hate this tank. <laughs> that was my mistake, but I hate the tank so much I'm going to blame the tank anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're on 2.8k damage, and once again, enemy tanks moving up. Again, minimap features, I forgot to switch them on, but enemy tanks moving up from the south. There's a uh, 
KV-85 and an M6 that were last spotted trying to flank us. So M6 is here. I'm staying out of proxy spot range. Or at least I thought I was. That, that would have been my plan. It's the first time I'm watching this replay since actually playing the game. But uh, there's a KV-85, which is why I'm covering the railway tracks here. KV-85 is moving up, but he doesn't seem to be on the railway track. So is he over this side? Yes, he is. Okay, so fall back, use the Oni for cover, and get a nice shot in because, yeah, okay, all right, I will admit the penetration is nice on the gun compared to other tier 8 premiums, or tier 7 mediums, but it's just, everything else about the tank is something I dislike. So, uh, oh, okay, someone took out the M6, KV-85 is up here, okay, there we go, KV-85 is dead, so... Oh, not getting any kills whatsoever, but we are on 3k damage, and now there's just the SU-85, is that what it is? SU-85 left, yeah, my memory my memory hasn't completely gone yet. So, SU-85 is capping, we know where he is. He's trying to cap against four friendlies. Always, always not a clever thing to do. Oh, English is hard, never a clever thing to do. Um, okay, don't see him, don't see him. I don't have six cents on this tank, which is one of the reasons my crew is actually quite poor, which is one of the reasons I, his I dislike the tank a lot. But we're moving up, we've still got plenty of hit points, we can take a couple of hits from the SU, and where is he? He's capping and I can't see him, and look at this camo rating. Wow. So, uh, nice one-shot kill, and kill number four, 3.2k damage, and first ace in the T-34-100. So as well as the ace, we picked up high caliber, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was a quick and dirty game. I didn't have to worry about my gun depression because it was Ensk and very little gun depression is needed there. Uh, I was able to play like a medium tank and play aggressively because I was top tier, which you can't do when you're not top tier because this tank is terrible against tier eights, it's terrible against tier nines, and it's terrible against a lot of tier sevens as well. Um, but because we're top tier, it was quite an easy game, so I can't complain. The ace is out of the way, all the pressure's off, don't have to worry about it anymore and it just occurred to me I haven't talked about the history because this is a tank that has absolutely no history it was a concept uh, design uh, in 1955 uh, it was a Czechoslovakian concept basically putting a 100 millimeter gun on a T-3485 hence the reason it's a T it's a tier 6 tank at tier 7 the only difference is the gun and the hit points have been boosted but basically it's a tier 6 tank at tier 7 that sees tier 9s um, so uh, yeah it was a concept tank uh, around 1955, let's just say Russia suggested to Czechoslovakia that Czechoslovakia, rather than building their own tanks, should actually buy tanks from Russia. Or if they were going to build any tanks, they should buy the plans from Russia and build Russian tanks. So this tank actually never got off the ground. It was simply just a concept, and that's pretty much for it for the history. Um, but yeah, uh, as I say, picked up Ace, picked up High Caliber... Finished top on XP with 1231, enough to pick up the ace, 3258 damage, 4 kills, and 21 shots fired, only 15 hits, 14 pens, um, I mean the penetration's good, but the aim time, the accuracy, oh, so, so bad. Um, spotted 3 damage, 8 destroyed, 4 did 605 assistance damage, 3 base cap points, and 12 base defense points, left me on 34,000 credits with a premium account. It wasn't my first game of the day, because I was trying to ace the flaming thing, but uh, yeah, I mean... You know, when, it, when it's top tier, it's not too bad uh, because the hit points make a difference and the gun makes a difference. But when it's not top tier, I really, really don't like this tank very much. And as I say, it's a tier 6 masquerading as a tier 7, which makes it even more underpowered than most of its tier 7 medium tank competitors. Anyway, uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.